What's up, everybody? I just wanted to take a few moments to say thank you so much to everybody tuning in. Uh, what you are about to see, to hear, to experience was very personal and also a difficult thing for me to put out there, but I also feel like it was necessary. Um, it's the same story, y'all. Different character when it comes to Black men and our interaction with law enforcement. I hope that this video encourages you to get out there to vote, um, to influence legislation, to um, demand police reform, because we live here too. You know, we are a part of this country and black lives do matter. Um, sad we gotta say that in 2020, but black lives matter. Um, I encourage you to follow me at Preach on the mic. I also encourage you to follow at the cause social. Uh, Speak for a cause. We are an organization dedicated to small businesses, nonprofits, and community leaders that positively impact and influence change. We are a change management service agency. Um, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Don't shoot! Hands up! 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 I still remember the day my anxiety had me feel like I couldn't breathe. And it wasn't due to some hysterically clever gut busting meme or watching the demise of my favorite football team. You see, literally, I was breathing. But mentally, I was choking, suffocating on the blue lights and bullhorn screaming, step outside your vehicle. You see, they need to find some evidence to declare me guilty. Right there on the scene stood my judge and jury, also known as need another black man's big dream shot dreams. Need another head of house held on lean. Need another black queen missing her king. Need another black son stripped from his father's legacy. Need another black daughter missing daddy's perspective on the birds and the bees. I was running out of breath. I was running off of films, just wanting to be transparent because my blackness was doomed. My blackness had no room to breathe. Your cop guns drawn out towards the back of my head because my blackness looks like another man's blackness. The sense of inferiority overwhelmed your thoughts of superiority so you pull out your strength from your harness to somehow level set with my blackness. Heart rates increase, adrenaline release. It's like my blackness had to black out to prevent the white cop spaz out so I covered my blackness with the white out. Yes, sir. No, sir. How can I help you, sir? My mission becomes to calm the tremors of your trigger finger so that I could live just a little while longer. Meanwhile, I'm still not breathing. Because a sudden shift of my chest expanding outward gives an appearance of unruliness, almost animalistic, like King Kong coming to dominate the devil in distress, so I hold my breath. Praying to God, my only witness, that the man behind the blue had some sort of conscience that somehow he sees my blackness in submission so I can't breathe. Because breathing looks too much like freedom, looks too much like human, looks too much like wisdom because breathing keeps my skin black and not blue so I stay stiff-necked like a deer caught between headlights praying that my head is not mounted on top of your mantle like a thrill kill spotlight praying that I am not the next black man hashtag highlight praying that the black cop on the scene will somehow snap you back from twilight the sun shines bright. But this exchange turned my blackness to midnight. So you see, I can't breathe. Stifled from the same air you breathe, as if there's some shortage of supply here, like we can't mutually exist here. So you see, I can't breathe. But there comes a day when the oxygen fills the souls of blackness, when we take a deep breath in as if it were God himself breathing in us our first wind, when the clutching gas for air signals our union and bridges our division, I can't breathe. 
until the systematic racism burns away by the spirit-filled holy water and gut-wrenching exorcisms that vomits America's demonic past and racist symbolisms I can't breathe. Until our necks are pulled from up under our oppressor's knee and the blood flows freely throughout my people's arteries I can't breathe until these systematic shackles are released. And then I'll consider taking my first sigh of relief.